All right, guys, the uh, tip of the week is tracking your production. Now, we've got a, a great tip of the week, uh, a lot of great information. Definitely take some notes um, on this. this. And the purpose of this tip of the week is really to kind of help you uh, be organized with your production, okay? And I'm just going to show you exactly um, some of the things that I do to kind of track my production. The one thing I do is I put together a um, – we got a pen here. I put together a uh, an agent weekly production report. I do one of these every single week. It's one page per week. And what I do is I um, uh, put it put it in a binder. I use a three hole punch and put it into a binder. But here you can put in the uh, you know you put in the month, the year, the dates that it's through for the week. So if it's from the let's say you know the the first through the seventh, you'd put there. And then you just put in uh, the date that you wrote the application, client's name, phone number, city, state, the carrier, what was the product, was it final expense, was it term life express, uh, how much AP did you write, paid commission. Um, so when I actually get paid, I, I look at my commission statement, actually write in the amount that I got paid. And then uh, did I make the phone call? Call means that I make the courtesy call. I call every client that I sell to um, thank them for the business and let them know that their policy was approved. And also I let them know the, um, re refresh their memory as far as the uh, first draft date, okay? And then this is what one looks like that's actually filled out. This is a uh, production report from May 2018 from the 5th through the 11th. And you see I got all the client's names here. Um, I blocked out the phone numbers. <laughs> Not that you guys would call them, but I'm just making sure. Uh, the city that I wrote them in, what was the carrier? For example, Transamerica um, it was a final expense. My AP was $748. This is what I got paid. And then I made the phone call. And then I keep these sheets, so I just make sure everything goes through. You know, if I have a deal that busts out or gets canceled or clients change their mind, um, it just helps me keep track of it. So anyway, I have up to 19. So if you write more than 19 applications in a week, you'll have to use uh, a second page. And then down at the bottom, this is the total of annualized premium. And then this line would be the total for that week, the total commissions that were paid out. Now, sometimes it may take, you know, a week or two weeks for everything to follow through before you actually get paid out your commissions. But just keep track of it and then just go back and fill that in. And here's where I marked down how many leads I received. I had 25 leads that week, 18 appointments, 13 presentations, nine applications. My conversion ratio, meaning um, appointments into presentations, are 69% of my sits turn into an application, okay? So this is this sheet. And if you need this sheet, uh, just let me know and I, I will email it to you, okay? I believe it is also available on the back end of the, the Senior Solutions website. Uh, the other thing I do is I take every deal and I put it into an Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so this happens to be just a snapshot. These are in alphabetical order, but what I put in here <clears throat> as an example, uh, here you go, Benita Taylor. This is where the phone number would go, uh, address. Where they live, when I wrote the, or this is their date of birth, who I wrote it with. This one's with Gerber. It was the final expense, fifteen thousand, fifty dollars a month was the AP. Let's see, this was the signature date when I wrote that application in two thousand fourteen, and then the third, I write down. I put another column for when their first draft is supposed to be. So if I ever get a client that calls me up, you know, I can, I can instead of fumbling through all my deals. You know, I, I have the spreadsheet. I can just put it, keep it in alphabetical order. Boom, I can go. So the reason why I like it in an Excel spreadsheet is because I can organize it. So, um, you know, if I want to organize it by alphabetical, if I want to or organize it by city, if I want to organize it by the dates that I wrote the application, or here's another thing. Um, I also organize them by their date of birth. Um, so this way, when I do, because I do birthday cards, it's easy when you have it on an Excel spreadsheet to um, organize all your clients by their date of birth. This way you can make sure you get out their uh, birthday cards. And that's another tip too. Make sure you're, I would keep in touch with your clients. 
uh, at least once a year, man. Send them a birthday card. They love it. And I get a lot of calls, man. I get a lot of people that get birthday calls, birthday cards, and they call me. Says, hey, oh, man, I was thinking about you. I lost your card. Thanks for sending me a birthday card. I got a referral or I need to up my policy or my policy lapsed. You know, can you come back out and see me? So I write a lot of business off birthday cards. Um, organizing your files. This is a, just a real quick tutorial video. Let me play this real quick. Guys, um, in my office, I have a bucket. And in that bucket, I keep all my deals in there. And um, uh, I, I follow them through the process from pending until their issue paid. So here you go. All right, guys, here's a quick video on how I do my filing system in the office. Uh, this is my bucket that I use. Um, you can organize it the way you want. But basically what I do is when I write it, like I said before, every time I make an application, I put the um, make up a deal jacket for it, put the client's name, when I wrote it, who the carrier was, the app is in here. If I need to put any notes on it, I'll write notes on it. I'll keep it in here until it's approved and issue paid, and then I'll do it in my other um, other other filing system. But I keep all my deals in here, so I and I keep them in here, um, and I look at them every day, and I go through my pending until they are approved. These are probably a couple of policy deliveries uh, that I have to do that had some amendments on here. Guys, get a bucket, something similar to this, um, and just most important thing, man, just really, really. Uh, work hard to be um, organized. So hopefully this has been helpful. All right, guys. Let me get to the next uh, next screen. All right, and then uh, this is my, um, uh, remember I told you about I keep all those deal jackets. So this is just some of the, uh, down in my basement, I've got probably two, 3,000 uh, deals down there. I keep, I, you know, I still have all the, the hard copies um, of all those. Let's see, there you go. Now you should be able to see it. This is, uh, these are all the buckets, all the, uh, all the folders here, as you can see, thousands of them. Uh, the other thing that um, I recommend that you do is send out thank you cards. Um, I know Jimmy and I use Vistaprint. These are some cards I just made up from for for Jimmy. Guys, I mean you can get these anywhere. You can go to Vistaprint and get these if you want. If you like this format, you can call me. I can order them for you. It's roughly I think it's about sixty bucks per a hundred. Now the more you order, the cheaper it is. But if you only want to get started with a hundred, it'd be sixty dollars uh, plus shipping and then possibly tax depending on what state you live in but you can put your picture on there and basically what it says is uh, please accept my sincere thanks and gratitude for the opportunity to help you with your insurance need it was truly a pleasure to serve you any referrals would would greatly would be greatly appreciated thank you jimmy hernandez and that's it guys that's the uh that's the tip of the week so i really hope this has been helpful for you and we'll talk to you soon take care Bye-bye.